In this video, we're talking about toddler toys, how to manage them, how to store them, how to deal with them, how to make it so that your kids can access them easily so that everybody gets to have a good time. Hi, and welcome to Learning with Love. My name is Claire, and this channel is for you dedicated, hands-on parents who want to be there for your children to support them as they learn and grow. I really hope you like this video. If you do, please click like and subscribe to our channel for more parenting tips and tricks. First, let's talk about play kitchens. Play kitchens are an absolutely classic toy and I just love them. They're great for toddlers and I love them in particular because they are open-ended toys, which means there's no directed play, which means kids can do whatever they want with them and use their imaginations in the way that they play with them. And um, this one here has lasted for years. It is about seven years old and the kids have gotten so much use out of it and they have played with it for hours and hours. If you have the room in your house for a play kitchen, then the great thing is, is that all of the toys can fit neatly inside it. So I recommend that you only buy as many accessories and pieces as will fit completely comfortably inside the toy kitchen, because that makes it a nice tidy footprint in your house where everything is all together, where the kids can play with that all together. If you want to extend beyond that, what you can do is add other little pieces of toy furniture that are good for like playing house around it. In this play kitchen, I have used these wire mesh bins to make use of this little vertical space inside the play kitchen so that the kids can put their other little goodies inside there, their kitchen pieces. This toy kitchen was made by Pottery Barn Kids and I love its sturdy wooden construction and that's helped it to last for a very long time. But there are a lot of other really cute ones. I know Kidcraft makes some that are absolutely adorable. And uh, if I were you, I would pick the one that goes best with your home decor, <laughs> but that's just me. Um, so I'll link to a couple of my favorites below and we just love the Melissa and Doug food accessories that go with them so I'll link to some of my favorites there as well. They are also wooden and so they last a really long time. Now you can see here that Victoria can actually scoop up the little pastas, put them back into the pot and can put them back away into the kitchen all by herself. So this makes for really easy cleanup. She's only two years old so even a two-year-old can clean this kitchen up like a pro. Cubbies, great for storage. Cubby storage systems are absolutely awesome for storing kids' toys. And you can store the toys in the cubby systems in a variety of ways. Here you can see that I've used bins in some of the cubbies, but you can also put the toys by themselves in some of the other cubbies. The bins are great for smaller toys. So you can see here we have a collection of dinosaurs. It's much easier to just throw them together all in one bin. And larger toys do better by themselves. Now, it also helps with kids and their sorting and matching skills because when they go to clean them up, especially if there aren't too many bins and the categories are very easy to understand, the kids can throw the baby dolls in the baby doll baskets and the dinosaurs in the dinosaur baskets and any time you can make the cleanup easy for the kids to do, that is going to make your life much easier too. There are so many cubby systems available. One of the most popular is the Ikea Calyx. This one is Pottery Barn Kids that I like for its matching finishes with my other furniture, but there are a ton to choose from. I want to share with you this puzzle rack that I use with the cubby system and I think it's so great because it allows these big wooden puzzles to fit perfectly inside your cubbies. So I love that and I will share a link below. Play tables are a staple for any toddler play area. This one has chalkboard labels on the bins underneath which help keep your toys easy to access and yet out of view. Play tables are best when they are low to the ground. That puts them at the perfect height for toddlers to be able to reach their toys and play with them right in front of them. That also means that you can use these to double as a coffee table, which is what I use, and I think that's another clever way to use a play table. Play tables can also be used as train tables. Um, you can have a dedicated train table, but it's kind of nice to have one that is multi-use. Sometimes the perfect thing is just a big old hamper. And it is great because you can put big awkward toys like these dress up items. We just throw them into a hamper. And the good news is, is that once again, the kids can just 
Scoop them up and toss them in the hamper and that makes cleanup very quick and easy. Last, let's talk about messy toys and crafts. Here I have a dedicated bucket of Play-Doh and I only let my children use it on our craft table. I think that keeping it to one spot in the house is the best way to help keep your house nice and neat. My best experiences have been with metal top tables. I think those are the easiest ones to wipe marker, paint, glue, and everything off the top of. So I'm gonna show you ours here and it's been great. I feel that an organized home allows toddlers to be able to enjoy their toys better. It enables them to develop life skills as they learn to pick up easily after themselves. And it lets you enjoy your home more as a family. 